Yo, yo, what's up? This is Jay Hamilton back at you again. Yo, I got another video. This one is on clips for the MPC software 2.0. A cat hit me up on YouTube. He asked me, yo, can you do one on clips? So here it is. But basically what I'm going to demonstrate here, I got a few loops on these pads. And I'm going to show you what I, what I did. So I, I just grabbed a bunch of loops I had already in a library, and I just drug them over to the pads. In fact, I'm going to show you what I did here. So I got a few of these empty, so I'm going to throw some loops on there just to show you what I'm doing here. All right, let's take that there. And you see what I'm... If you see what I'm doing here, I drug that loop over on that pad, and then when I select it, because right now I'm in program edit, and when I drug, drug that loop over to this pad, it tried to detect the BPM, but it didn't really, it came close, but it wasn't that close. So I had to just bring it over because that loop right here is 85. So I made this, I made sure that it translated here as 85 for the BPM because with clips, it uses the warp, you know, the warp generator so it can be able to sync it to the BPM and all these all these loops here are synced to the BPM. So, and creating a clip is very simple. I can show you how to do it just before I get too deep into this. If I went to select another track, I could create another clip here. And basically, it's just like you loading up a basic drum program, but instead of a drum program or a MIDI or, or a key group, this is a clip. So, you know, drag stuff over and, and then go to program edit. You can put in the BPM right there, make sure it has the right, make sure it has the right BPM, bam. And it will sync with your master BPM up here at the top. It's at 93. But, I want to show you what I got loaded up so far. So we're going to go back to track one. So let me show you how I did it. So let's trigger these. back to program edit say I can select this one sample here let's let's listen to how it sounds right here on this pad so that gives you an idea what it sounds like so what I did there I actually hit this times two right here and it actually doubled up the tempo and in or and once it doubles up the tempo, it actually stretches the sample out longer, but it's still synced to the BPM. So now, if you play it, it sounds like this. So I'm back. This time I hooked up the MPC Live. I want to do a demonstration with the clips with the XY effects just to show you what you can do when you in a live situation. So let's check that out. Now it's going to kick in after these four bars. I had set it up for four bars, but here we go. Let's go through it. 